37 local councils across England and Wales have won injunction orders against persons unknown. What is an injunction against persons unknown? It's a ban that applies to various pieces of land, particularly parks, commons and open spaces, but also industrial land, unused land, even completely derelict land. Anyone found occupying that land can be removed, they can have their property confiscated, they can be arrested, even imprisoned. The injunction also bans people depositing waste, but it's the ban on occupying the land that is most disturbing. We're talking about the prospect of people being put in prison simply because a council doesn't want them where they are. Many travellers who live on the road, stopping where they can, don't do so out of choice. For lots of people, there's simply nowhere else for them to go. For example, across London, only 10 new pitches for travellers have been built since 2008, when over 800 are estimated to be needed. Councils have failed our community for decades by failing to provide any proper stopping places, and now they want to use these injunctions to stop gypsies and travellers camping in a place. Whether they're new to the area or whether their family have been there for generations. They effectively criminalise a way of life that goes back centuries, when all of us are meant to be protected by the law of equality, regardless of our background. We believe that these injunctions break the Equality Act because gypsies and travellers will be most affected by them. It is not right that while local councils are failing to provide any stopping places, they also want to ban gypsies and travellers from whole areas of land. And councils and police could use these injunctions to remove anyone. Anyone who they don't think should be on certain kinds of land. This could be vulnerable people, homeless people looking for somewhere to sleep, peaceful protesters and other people who could all come under the name of persons unknown. Councils and police already have extensive powers to remove anyone and punish them if they're behaving antisocially or dumping rubbish. But these injunctions will punish people regardless of how they behave. There's a long history of laws targeting gypsies and travellers in Britain. Like the hostile environment policy, we've seen what this has meant for people who've lived in, worked in and contributed to the country. London Gypsies and Travellers took on Bromley Council in the High Court and won. Our victory could help stop the domino effect of one injunction after another. But Bromley Council will appeal the ruling on the 3rd of December. There's limited time and we need to make sure that they don't win or this situation will get worse. We're trying to raise £8,000 to pay our lawyers and to run this campaign. We need your help to get the word out. We're asking councils to negotiate with families instead of resorting to the criminal law. That's fair, it's common sense, and unlike these injunctions, it won't have a disproportionate impact on the elderly, the sick, and on young children. Everyone who wants just and fair treatment for all people should support this campaign. Thank you for listening and thank you for your help. Please like, share, donate for Gypsies and Travellers and for everyone. <laughs>